Hey, thanks for tuning in. I know you have a choice in videos of how to cut a pineapple. I think one of the, the thing that's gonna make this different is that it's a little mathematical and it also makes an efficient use of the pineapple so, don't, so you don't waste any of it. I learned this technique on the, the streets of Santo Domingo right across from the, the school where I was uh, teaching. Uh, first off, to test to see that a pineapple is really ready, you can look for the color. If it starts to kind of uh, be a little yellow down below, that's good. You can also try on the crown just to pick a stem or pick a leaf. And if they come out pretty easily, it's probably pretty good. The third one is just a test. I do it on the, the top third, just by your thumb, just testing to see if you can uh, push it in a little bit. So if you can kind of thumb the skin and it gives, gives a little, it's probably ready to go. You don't want to wait too long or else it'll be a little mushy and mealy and not feel, not taste so good. All right, so that's a test for readiness. You're going to use this as a handle. So it's going to be an unconventional approach. Here's what you do. You cut off the bottom for easy standing, just a, maybe a half an inch, a centimeter, something like that, so that it stands. That's the function for this one. And then you thinly slice down to remove any of the spiny skin. So it's really thin. I'm not taking all the things off. Let's see. And if you like the core, he might cut off the core part. Oh, for sure. Because I do like the core. Yeah, there's people who like the core. You don't waste that. That can actually be used in smoothies. You can kind of you can chew on it. It's not as not the, the flesh of the fruit that people like the most. And if you don't like the core, just follow along, but don't do the core part. I should have said before starting that you need these materials. You need a pineapple. You need a knife. I'm using a serrated knife because I like kind of the, the, the sawness of it. And... You need some type of a refuse like compost or trash because it's gonna get a little messy. And so you wanna clean these pieces so that the, the juices and the good flesh don't get to them. And eventually. you get to eat all the good part of the pineapple. Indeed, we're still cutting thinly sliced down. Um, I'm, I'm making sure that there's still a little bit of, uh, that I can view the kind of the eyes of it. And now I'm gonna get at an angle to cut off kind of that beveled edge at the bottom. can kind of go around this way, around the circle and get to it. One of the nice things about a pineapple, and here's the mathematical part, maybe you skip to this part, is that pineapples, much like many other things in nature, adhere to a Fibonacci sequence of the arrangement of their leaves or their spines. It's, it's kind of a mathematical phenomena that's seen in, in a, lot of, a lot of natural things. Flower petals are in Fibonacci sequences, pine cones, sunflowers, the leaf arrangement on most leaves. And it's because it kind of optimizes the space and the sunlight exposure. Probably should have shown it to you uh, earlier, but if you look at a pineapple, there's a pattern of arrangement of kind of a, a loose spiral that goes all the way around. And that's what we're gonna utilize when we cut the pineapple. I'm gonna slice along that line uh, I'm using my right hand because I'm a left-hander, and so you could also do it the other way and then and see the there's a, a, a different type of a spiral pattern as well. This one seems to be from, uh, if you're right-hand cutting, it's going to be at a little higher of an angle. But I'm going to start making V-shaped cuts and see this line that's roughly right along that goes all the way around. I'm going to start there and just starting to cut. You taking pictures? all the way around. I'll give you a few uh, I zoomed shots. in, Daddy. You want? That, um, I zoomed in, and if that's okay, they only really see the pineapple now. All right, maybe I can bring it a little closer so I can show you. Because they kind of need to see the pineapple. What I'm too. doing, I'm making V cuts so that eventually I have made a cut a kind of a groove that goes all the way around the pineapple. I'm going to start on the next one and do the same thing, make some V cuts here. You're going to put this on Facebook, Daddy? Oh, I'm going to put it all over. This is going to make us famous. The mathematical well, way. Well, with your chalk drawings and your one second every day, we are kind of famous. Oh, you are too kind, little one. All right, cutting groove number two. 
toward the top and even along, it, it may not always follow a perfect pattern. That's okay. Uh, and But I really do think that this kind of just gets rid of the pieces that even the animals don't eat. The skin is there so that it protects the pineapple. If you can just remove it, you will have a perfect pineapple. A perfect pineapple. I'm getting all the way to the top. I might even, uh, eventually I'll probably cut a sliced beveled edge up here to expose everything but that handle. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the video, if you want to continue watching, you can. There'll also be an option to uh, kind of see me go through all the, if you get the picture, you can fast forward to the part where I've got everything ready. But this is kind of the tedious part, and this is where you'd go to this, this Long Santo Domingo on, on the main street. There were the, the guys who were selling uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, and they'd put, they, you could see them cut this pineapple with the big machetes right down, right next to you, and then you could you get them in a styrofoam box, and it was the best pineapple I've ever tasted. So good, all right. We're getting there, cutting grooves, moving our way up and around. You see, Daddy, are you gonna cut those green parts off or yeah, are you gonna leave them there? Eventually, I will kind of do a final check and slice off that green part, but. Have you ever tasted the green part? Does it taste good? You know, I can reserve a little part for you if you'd like to try it. I'm imagining it's a little rough. A little chewy. Let's see, taking shape there. This one's a little tough, there we go. Slicing and dicing. It's gonna look really cool at the end. Let's see, and I've got, it looks like two more grooves left. Bear with us here, we're making it happen. It's gonna look kind of fun at the end. It looks cool right now when you're cutting it in the spiral. Well, thank you, number one viewer and number one kid. picture taker and camera. And roller. your kid. Yeah, and your kid too. Okay, looks like one more left, and then I'll kind of clean it up. Your video is long, Daddy. Well, that's why I was telling viewers that to get to the, uh, if they get the picture of this, this tough thing, this part that takes the longest, they can kind of skip forward. Okay, I think I've got it. Now a final check. I am, I'm going to slice off the pieces that... Uh, that still there's a little bit of the skin outside, not too much because there's still some good juiciness here, but kind of the, the hard green part that is okay to take off. And then don't think like you've got it all down yet because I think I have a, a new uh, method of slicing this that gets to the most part too. The grooves have a lot of magic in them, so I'm going to use it. Use that Fibonacci Daddy, sequence. Daddy, will you use your old one of how to cut your pineapple so they can see the old one? And oh. then maybe you can make a new one and do the new you, one, you know? You might be referring to the old video of the Fibonacci sequence. I didn't, I, this is my first video of how to cut a pineapple. Okay, let's see. Will you do your old way of cutting the pineapple, not your new way, so I, they can see your old way? Well, I don't know if I have an old way. I, before, I would just either buy it at a store or just kind of slice it down and uh, waste a lot of the pineapple. All right, here we go. It stood up. It's nice and nice and shaved. We're going to do four downward cuts. I'm going to be really close to what the core. Slice even further than you think. And I do it at the compass point. So I'm going to do a turn at 90 degrees and then another one slice 90 degrees, and then another one. So I'm gonna have four nice chunks and just leave this. We'll deal with you a little later. 
Now what I do is I slice along the grooves that are already made and that kind of keeps the pineapple there. And then if I need to make another slice to kind of uh, divvy them up so they're nice and bite size and I put it nicely into a bowl. This one. Can I have one? Oh, breathtaking. Can I Whoa. have one, Daddy? What do you think? Try to keep that camera steady. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, kind of get the picture here. Many people throw away this core part, but I've got some people in my family who kind of like it. They can mm. even put it in smoothies and blend it. Or... I love the core because my mom does. So. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. still kind of chewy. Thanks. But uh, still just as tasty. Mm-hmm. That's the last step. Enjoy, everybody. Hope you like this video, and thanks for watching. Cut.